Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us today as we go through our virtual tool use series. Uh, my name is Cole Pollock. I am a sales engineer for Rhino Toolhouse. I cover the North Dakota and Northwest Minnesota regions for Rhino Toolhouse. If you're not familiar with Rhino Toolhouse, our mission is to identify and deliver the most innovative industrial solutions. We currently have 65 plus sales engineers in, in the field right now, uh, over 10 applications engineers, and we cover about 30 states in the United States right now. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, Bosch tools and how we can kind of increase the potential for those tools to give you a little more value. Uh, but first I want to stop for a second and tell you a little story. Uh, about six years ago, I used to be really big into snowmobiling. Um, I'd taken about a year or two off. Uh, I bought a new snowmobile, went, was really excited to go ride it. I uh, got out with my buddies, we made it like four or five miles, and I crashed. I thought I could hop back on it, pick it back up like riding a bike, right? Uh, that did not be, turn out to be the case. So I ended up rolling on its side and... Uh, Knew something wasn't right, right from the get-go. Uh, turned out, I shattered my collarbone, uh, a little over six pieces. Go to the hospital, they do some x-rays, they're checking me out, the doctor comes back and he's like, I got some bad news for you. He's like, you're not gonna be able to allow that to heal naturally, you're gonna actually have to go in for surgery. So uh, what they actually had to do is go in and put a plate and nine screws in my shoulder, kind of put me back together again. Uh, two things I learned that day. Uh, number one, the older you get, the more fragile you are. Uh, it's kind of interesting, right? Uh, and number two, uh, it doesn't matter who you are, complacency can catch up with all of us. So the big thing here today, you know, I want to talk about is kind of complacency and uh, how we can kind of mitigate that. You know, in manufacturing today, we talk about complacency a lot, uh, whether it be with workplace safety or in regards to quality. Um, and this technology we're going to talk about today is going to help us mitigate those complacency issues. So that brings me to our demo today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Bosch clutch tools and how we can provide uh, more value from that um, and using it with a global 400 controller from Sturdivant Richmond. Before I start, I want to ask you three questions. I want you to consider these and think about these. Um, are you currently using any clutch tools and would you like them to do more? Uh, would you like to add batch count to your assembly process and tie that data to a VIN number? Uh, would you like to increase your profitability while increasing your quality, but also getting the most value for your investment? If you answered yes to any of these questions, I think what I'm going to talk about is going to be really interesting for, for you. Uh, so with that, I'm going to get started here. We're going to talk about this tool here today. Uh, this is a Bosch right angle clutch tool. Uh, this tool can do 15 to 60 Newton meters, so it's their biggest right angle uh, clutch tool that they make. Uh, it does 12 to 120 RPM. Uh, they make these tools all the way down to 0.7 Newton meters. Uh, you can also get them in a variety of pistol grip tools as well. Uh, so there's a lot of options there, um, no matter what your application is. So uh, the next thing is, the thing that makes this tool different is the Toolhouse actually developed a radio chip that goes inside this tool. This is something that only we do. Uh, that chip allows us to talk to this controller that you see behind me. This is the Sturdivant Enrichment Global 400 controller. So what this controller is, it's a controller that allows us to uh, connect up to 16 tightening tools. So what that means is I can have any combination of these Bosch tools. I can have some Sturdivant Enrichment wrenches all connected to this box. So if you're currently running Sturdivant, this Bosch tool might be a great application for you. If you're currently running Bosch, this is a great way to add some potential um, value to that as well. Uh, the last thing I wanna talk about here, I got connected is a barcode scanner. We're using a USB barcode scanner connected to this controller. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to set this tool up. Uh, we're gonna go through and learn the tool into the controller, as well as set up a piece set that we can run. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and learn the tool into the controller. Right now there's no tool or parameter setup. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over here to menu, go over to tools, tools again, and we're gonna pick a tool position. For this, we'll pick one, we'll hit learn. We're gonna learn on one. We're gonna hold the trigger of our tool until the work light comes on, but not so much that the spindle runs. What this is doing is sending information to the controller. The controller is listening right now, and it's gonna learn the radio chip and the tool to the controller. Uh, this usually takes about 20, 25 seconds uh, to learn the, all the information in, and then once it's done, we'll be able to set the serial number of the tool. As you can see here now, the screen has changed automatically. Uh, what the controller is waiting for is for us to input the serial number of the tool. Uh, for this example, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hit save. Here we can see uh, some more information about the tool. We can change the name, the serial number, etc. We're going to save again. And now you see the box is green currently, and when it tur turns to blue, it'll tell us that the tool is learned and ready to go. So as you can see there, it's turned to blue. We're going to hit escape out of here twice. We're going to go over to parameters. We're going to 
gonna go edit for parameter one. So we can change the name of our parameter if we like. Uh, we're gonna go down here to primary tool. We're gonna select tool one because that's the same position we just learned the tool into. We're gonna set our batch quantity to three for this one and we don't want it to lock on the batch. So we're gonna hit save and escape and escape again. So now we're back to the home screen here. Um, it says suspended, it's set up to run with the barcode scanner. Um, it'll initiate the process once we start the barcode. All right, now that we have our tool learned into our controller, we have our PSET set up, we're able to start our process. So the, if you look over here on the controller, right now it's in a suspended mode. Uh, what that means is there's no active parameter set up uh, to run right now. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is it's waiting for us to scan a VIN number. We have it set up with a barcode scanner. We're gonna scan the VIN on our ATV here to initiate our process. So let's do that now. Take our barcode scanner, scan our VIN, and now it jumps into our parameter. Uh, we're looking for three good torques. Uh, we're torquing these bolts on this hub here on this ATV. Uh, as we go through them, if we get an OK from the Bosch tool communicating to the Global 400 box, you're going to see a green screen. If we get a not OK, we're going to get a red. Uh, so the first two will turn green. The last one's actually going to turn blue if we get an OK, which means that it was a good torque and we completed our batch. So let's go through and do that. So the screen turns blue for just a moment and then it goes back to the suspend mode um, and it's waiting for us to you know start the next model or the next unit behind it and continue down the manufacturing process so uh, with that that is our demo today uh, i want to thank you for joining us uh, this is i hope that you found this very informative and educational uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to your rhino toolhouse sales rep that's in your area uh, we'd be all too happy to help you out and answer any questions that you have so thank you bye